Time to go playoff racing for the eNASCAR Heat Pro League, and it starts with Xbox. To get loose, let's play some Rubik's Cube or do the Macarena. Either way, we dropped the green flag at Vegas, and it was Track Bar leading them to green. Track Bar with a great performance all night long, but not without a challenge there from Garbage. A great qualifying effort for that driver starting second. Would look to get up there to the front. Track Bar would slip back and hand that over to him. Intense racing as Garbage would get loose and his contact with Bolt sends Garbage into the wall with Mordog bringing out a caution flag. Track Bar still sitting atop the field, but Shell V powers of that second position there. Looks to challenge for the lead, but contact with the wall would slip him back as he would still hold on to that race car. Slick able to slingshot his way around as we look back to the battle of the lead. Here comes Shell V again, this time a little loose on the back stretch. Garbage motoring his way on the outside to challenge Slick. That would shuffle Shell V down. A little bit of contact there to slip him back. And you can see the head shake there. A little bit of disappointment. But back up to the front, it's Track Bar. NASCAR Heat 4 putting on a show as here we go with Track Bar. And Garbage again, nose to tail. Garbage trying to figure out how to get around the 37. Bobble in the back of the field there. Mordog sends a couple cars going every direction. That would be an accordion. Voltage in the wall. And you see the contact continues as cars beat and bang and it would lead to a little bit of a wreck. Yeah, J-Mac attack just gets punted the outside wall, bringing out a caution flag here late in the race. And then, well, cautions breed another caution because here goes more contact, this time the grass. More dog through the grass there, back up onto the racing surface, sending everyone scattering there. Contact once again with J-Mac attack as well as a few other drivers, but back up to the front. Yeah, Garbage still trying to figure out a way to get around the 37, but Track Bar just had it all day long, capturing the win for JTG Deep Doherty Racing. And how about that? Track Bar, dominant, gets the win. Wow, that's garbage. Comes up one position short in that second position. Great run by Go Fast Matt in the fourth. And Jermaine with that fifth place finish. Jerem Dohar, solid top 10. HD Motorsports, an eighth place finish. And Mordock, in the number of wrecks, comes home in the top 10. An unfortunate finish for SHG Slick there after having won the week before at Daytona. Rounds out the field in 14th. But PlayStation also with a great race at Las Vegas as it started off Sloppy Joe leading the field to green, collecting his first pole of the season. Sloppy Joe not in the playoff talk, but he doesn't care. Trying to win the race, but Fluffy says it's my turn as the 17 gets a nice run on the bottom side of the racetrack to take the lead. Fluffy quick all evening long and battles all throughout the racetrack. As you look a little bit farther back there, Voltage, a couple other drivers, but Voltage hard into the wall to the back of the pack. He goes, take a look at this race car, heavy damage. Major damage to the 20. They would get it fixed on pit road and send him on his way. Meanwhile, Parker in the 42, haven't seen him in the front in a while, but he makes a nice move. But here comes Fluffy right back with some contact. That'll shuffle Parker out of the draft, slip a couple positions back, and you see racing all throughout the field here. Fluffy at the front, shuffling throughout, gets a little wobbly though, and that allows SHG and the Bear to take advantage of that slip up. Both slingshot their way past Fluffy for the lead, so it sets up a nice battle here as they continue to go side by side. We saw it all night long here at Vegas. Voltage sneaks back up in there after that wreck, looking to take advantage of it. Fluffy with a strong run though, and after a short pit and a round of pit stops, it would be Sloppy Joe at the front of the field. Sloppy Joe leading, but a nice challenge here by SHG, but then all, all of a sudden some dangerous there moves as they go three wide down the front straight away into turn number one. In the last couple laps, it would be SHG and the Bear battling at contact with Job sends SHG down pit road at full speed, and that would hand that race over to your winner, the Bear. Tuscaloosa, Alabama's own gets his second win of the season. How about the Bear as Voltage rebounds for a second place finish, and Sloppy Joe, who short pitted, comes home third. Penske with another consistent run in the top five. You look at Jobs in that seventh position, and Slade, the young gun, not the finish he was hoping for in ninth. Rounding out the field, your rookie, DK Brown, coming home 12th. Jerem Keffer had a solid run until he hit the wall late, 13th. And rounding out the field, the dominant man early, Fluffy. Looking at the standings as we go to Kansas in just a few weeks, Team Penske leaving right where they started, up on top, Roush Fenway Gaming. Right behind them, flip-flop with Stuart Haas Gaming, who is in third. Levine Family Gaming, Gibbs Gaming, Junior Motorsports all remain the same, still in contention. But only two or eight would move on. Two getting eliminated, and that is Jermaine and JTG jo Doherty Throttlers. So Go Fast Gaming sneaks by on a tiebreaker. They had to go back to qualifying to break the tie with Jermaine Gaming. So Go Fast moves on. 
and we get ready to go racing again in two weeks at Kansas Speedway for the second round of the playoffs, Wednesday, September 25th. Join us at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time as we go racing. You can watch on NASCAR as well as 704 NASCAR Heat's Twitch page and on Facebook. We look forward to another round of playoff racing on the eNASCAR Heat Pro League. We'll see you then.